Hey everyone, so this video is going to be about the creator, Uni Rock, aka Rock A Lot, receiving a letter from another creator, JLR, Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates, I believe it is, and Uni claiming that it was a threatening letter to intimidate him and how it was sent to his mom, and his mom was distressed, and I even heard that his mom felt so threatened by the letter that she retrieved her firearm and loaded it, this is alleged. And he pretty much made content out of it for days. And then when people started questioning it, because he then tags Queen Bee in a community post claiming that it mentioned her in the letter and it, that it didn't directly threaten her, but that it mentioned things surrounding her. And I'm paraphrasing. And then he didn't present evidence of such to Queen Bee, despite claiming he was going to. <laughs> People's skepticism grew further and he was offended by the feedback or criticism he was getting well not at all considering he hadn't fulfilled any of the claims that he made as far as if not presenting it to his community or queen b's community or at least or not even at least sending it to queen b he also tagged her in discord and you'll hear more about all of that nonsense and how none of it was true and even down to the letter being sent to his mom. Yes, it was sent to her address, which is not cool. But it was not addressed to her. It was addressed to him and just sent to her house. And it was a cease and desist letter, not an intimidation. Well, it could be perceived as an intimidation tactic, but he couldn't have felt too intimidated by it because he didn't cease and desist. He continued to go live and dunk, as he says, on JLR. So let's take a look at that and how the events unfolded and all the convolutions he created and then blames anybody who would have the audacity to question him about its validity and what he's stated. You'll also see that EKC People Suck, another creator, joined Queen Bee's panel and thank God she did because she obtained the letter because Uni never showed proof of the letter period to this day. And she got it off of JLR's website and she explains all of that, but just all of the fear he instilled in Queen Bee and how he claims left and right he was doxxed and can relate to what she's been through when he's not been put through a fraction of what she's been through with these bad actors, as some would say. And had he not brought any of this live, wouldn't be public whatsoever. But because he did, well, that's YouTube. When you make a video or go live about something, then naturally people have a response to it. And while it's definitely a theme on YouTube for creators to then play victim because they don't like the response they get, you brought it to the audiences regardless. And you can't control how people feel about that, despite how his girlfriend, wife, or whatever she is, and him feel about it. And I hope those that continue to support him hold him to the fire. I don't, I'm not even gonna say that because I don't think that they'll do anything that results in him reflecting on how he would do this differently next time. And not making it about content and views and donos. And then to turn around and say that people are only mad that he went public about it because they're mad that he got donos. It's pretty despicable. So hold on tight, get ready to be annoyed. But if you're a cringe watcher like me, then you might enjoy this. And let me know at the end if you think how he feels and betrayed by the response is understandable or if it's absurd, like I think it is, and how wrong it was for him to say that it mentioned Queen Bee when it didn't at all. And how he one minute calls it childish babble, but then says how nerve wracking it's been since he's gotten this letter. And I'm also going to share how his girlfriend, wife, or whatever, was defending him on Twitter today. And it's clear she either is selectively misinformed or is just straight misleading because she doesn't acknowledge that he said he went to his mom's and saw the letter for himself. But he does say that, and you'll hear that too. And then attributes all of this to PTSD, anxiety attacks, and panic attacks. And that's why Uni's not found it easy to present things more clearly and how we should be understanding Let's get started, shall we? So like his girlfriend said, go back to April 29th. Going back to April 29th, you'll see that he makes this post on YouTube and he claims it's because she didn't answer on Discord. Just to inform you, JLR brought you up in the letter he sent to my mother after he and Betty doxed them. Oh my gosh, he's the doxing. The letter is pure harassment, so I wanted to inform you of this. You already said that. I'll explain live, and if you want me to jump on your panel for a couple minutes or talk to you off air, let us know. Uni, JLR doxes and mails my mother. Mails my mother. <laughs> That's strange reading. So then... After he doesn't send anything other than this to Queen Bee, he joins her panel while they're discussing it. 
react to your videos and fucking dunk on you. You respect free speech, JLR and Betty. You respect people's rights. You won't stalk. You don't dox, right? Yes, you do. And no, you don't respect people's rights. You're faking it. And there's a big problem, Betty and JLR. When you fake, 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 fake that, okay? You following me? I'm trying to speak to where JLR and Betty can actually follow me here. When you're faking so many things right now that are directly related to the things you've done wrong in the past, how do you make an argument that you're not the same lying, LARPing shithead? Like I said, my lawyer's going to do it all. I'm not. I'm not doing any of it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give my lawyer a stack of cash, and she's gonna do it. I'm using my lawyer for a few things right now, so you know, might as well get it all done at once. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, yeah, but then that was very important. But then, see, this makes it. I mean, this this confuses me too because then it says 23 hours ago, Queen B Escobar, you're in the Discord. I tagged you, but you never responded. Still waiting for you. Confused at why you said I didn't reach out. Um, you didn't reach out though. I can't find it. I cannot find the tag, and, and I cannot. I don't see it anywhere. I don't see. I don't, I just, I don't see it. I don't know where the fuck it's at. And I don't know why, just why not send a personal message or an email or something if this is what's going on. I mean, I'm pretty fucking concerned. I'm, I mean, I would like to know. He knows this now. So. He, was acting, he was acting as if he didn't understand why your supporters and you were so upset over it. Like he didn't get it. And then at one point in the stream, he said, oh, okay. So they're upset that I didn't reach out privately, but I didn't get the rest of it. Well, yeah, yeah, about, so. yeah, if it's about me and my fucking kids, why are you, know, or me, uh -huh. and, you know what I'm saying? Or you're, why would you write a, why would you write a community post and go live about it and say, Hey, I'll jump on your panel. Why, you know what I'm saying? I guess I just don't understand why he wouldn't come to me privately and be like, Hey, this is pretty important. You know, they've been doxing and harassing. He knows they've been doxing. He knows the shit they've been pulling. He knows the harassment they're pulling on me and shit. So I guess I'm just kind of like, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm confused. Hey, Maybe I, I, wanna... find the fucking tag. I don't know where the fuck to look. I'm not very smart with Discord. You know, like, I don't know Discord like that. So I don't know what the fuck. And what I want to say is people were pointing oh, that out. Man, hold on, hold on. Is it... I think this is him. Uni Rock right here, but it's the background, but I don't see him here. Oh, there. Okay. All right. All right. I see you there. I see the background, but I didn't see you there. I'm sorry about that. No, you're good. Sorry. I just got in. I get paid on the first from the army, so I'm really busy around first. So. Well, that's okay. I was just kind of curious. Like, what the hell's going on? Why can't I find I can't find this fucking tag. I don't know if I'm like, where the fuck I'm looking at. I don't know what the hell's going on. Man. Just... Okay. No, you're fine. Discord is really stupid. So, anyway, yeah, I didn't jump on stream because everybody flipped out on, on me for saying that I should have come to you, like, you know, behind the scenes. That's why I didn't come over to your stream yet. I figured I'd get criticized if I tried. But since you're talking about it, yeah, if you want to jump in Discord, like, I don't even know how to tag you. Like, I'm trying. Like, other people are like trying to help me right now. So, uh, there's a... I'm going to try really hard not to be nitpicky through this. But there's so much BS in my opinion, it's going to be hard not to. So he just said that he doesn't know how to tag her, but he tagged her. A function where I can reply in Discord, and then you can click the reply, and it'll take you straight up, even if it's like seven days ago. But anyway, yeah, why don't yeah, I mean, you? This is the thing, Betty. This is what I was saying. So it says, Queen just to inform you, Jailer brought you up in letters sent to my mother, and he was, and he and Betty doxed them. The letter is pure harassment, so I want to inform you of this, and I'll explain live. If you want me to jump on your panel for a few hours, talk to you off air, let us know. I just kind of was like, damn. And then when I got the screenshot, right. I mean, you were already live. So I was like, what the hell? Like, that, you know what I'm saying? You know, these motherfuckers are, you know, crazy as hell, and they're doing stupid shit to you. You know, they're, you know, they've done all this stupid shit to you. I was like, why? Uh, your community tab? That's a post on your community tab. He said, whoa, what was that? What did you just read? So you don't even know what your community post is? Do his mods do everything for him? Or maybe he has not very good short term memory. It's weird. I'm going to it. Okay, so I read that days ago. So okay. yeah, that was, that was two days ago. So then I was like, what the hell? I still didn't hear anything from him. I'm like, what the hell? I reached out to him. Okay, I wrote that a little bad. I was, you know, upset. My mother was really fucking upset. You can probably imagine, right? Um, but I, I wrote. Okay, so yeah, I have this, sure. the original video. Um, is me getting off the phone with my mother, right? And then going into Discord, trying to tag you, trying to, you know, figure out how to, what to do, and then um, going uh, going live a little while later. Oh, so this is that must have been the anxiety attack, PTSD moment that his girlfriend was talking about, and he debunks her tweet tweet entirely. By, by forgetting, I guess she also doesn't have very good short-term memory. Which, if there was a brain injury or something, I'm not at all poking fun at. However, I'll point it out when we get there. Um. So anyway, yeah. No, I mean, I didn't. I know I wrote that really bad because I wasn't thinking. I was just pissed. I was just off the phone. I, you know, me and my mom don't talk. You know, too often. So. Um, well, so that's why I'm shocked. You didn't fucking do. You know, you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's why, like, I wrote that really bad. I do that sometimes. Again, I'm, you know, I try not to. Well, but, that, you know. And then I was like, "What the hell?" You know, if I got that screenshot. I was like, "Well, fuck you, live. Right. I don't want to ruin your live or take over your live or saying." Oh, like, I wouldn't have. I'd love to host so, you. I would love to host you that stream, but you know, I understand why you didn't because I would thought the same thing in your position. Well, but yeah. Just, no, you know, I, was like, you know, I was like, "Oh, they'll reach out. It's okay." So I mean, I, I checked my email. You know, emails. I was like, "Fuck you." You know, somebody said you tagged me, so I was like, "Let me go look." Then I seen on your community tab, it tagged me again. Says you're in the Discord. I tagged you, but you never responded. I'm still waiting for you. Confused why you said I didn't reach out. So then I went to go search for the tab, and I can't find it either. So I was like, "What the hell?" So, this one's really dumb. Like, it, it honestly is just really, it's really complicated. It's just a complicated. It's hard to I thought you already tagged me. I thought you were talking to me. I was like, I hate this one. I, I was like, I can't fucking figure it out. I, really I, don't I, I only use it because you have to nowadays. Everyone and their mom uses it, like other like big creators and stuff. So you eventually have to switch to it. But yeah, it's very hard. Even if you like have your own server. Discord's really dumb. And of course, he's only using it because all YouTubers have to use it when they get really big. But it seems as though him and his people use Discord like all day long.
in the kick stream, you'll see he calls into the Discord call taking place while he's live and he's begging his mod to come up on panel. And he never sends her or pr provides proof that he even tagged her on Discord. Not that I could find. Um, anyway, all I wanted you to know about this letter, like I said, I wanted to talk to you about it behind the scenes, not because of the community response, but um, just because, you know, I just didn't want to wait because, again, the first thing we've all done when they do this kind of stuff is inform everybody in a responsible way. Um, I did talk to my family, my lawyer, and my mother before I did the stream, right? Um, now, the reason I didn't, you know, pursue you more, like, behind the scenes beforehand was because, and I, I explained this in the video, I, I, don't, like, I think there's some, like, other YouTube content creators that might rush to talk about this before actually watching my video, which I don't blame them. I've done that before, too. But you're mentioned alongside of Molly and Betty and, like, a bunch of other creators. No, I'm not going to try to name them until I have a letter in my hands. Um, and you're, you guys are mentioned in the most, the whole letter is basically, like, childish babble, but you guys are mentioned in a very, like, weird way, and I'm not quite sure yet. Like childish babble, although it's actually very professionally written, vain, but professionally written, and so threatening his mom had to get a firearm and load it. The contradictions. Like I said, when I did the stream, I hadn't seen the letter. It was read to me by my mother on the phone. And a couple days later, I go to my mom's and I actually read the letter. But still, I don't know. Like, I can't figure out why you guys were all mentioned. Not just when I say you guys. Yeah, I was going to say, I took a picture of that fucker right there. Yeah, I sent it over. Also, I put it in the back chat just in case in the future. So, I'll clean these emails back. She's responsible. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, if you got my email, baby, I'll send it over. Put it in the back chat. It's your wife. Or send it, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to drop it. I'll give it right now. But just so you know. Are you up here, honey? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm confused, though, because yesterday, I watched his live stream yesterday. I was like, I'm sorry. Yeah, he did say yesterday that he got the letter. So why did he just oh, say that? No, I didn't say that I got the letter. I don't you know if you absolutely watch it. I will go pull the timestamp right I'll pull now. It. Pull the timestamp and listen to it. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, okay see, see you then. Okay, great. Let me talk to Queen for a second, then we can handle that. Um, no, I don't have the letter. So I don't know if she's talking about, like, you know, make sure it's all clear out of context, but I didn't say I had it. Um, I'm not lying about the letter. I don't know if that's Nunya's point. Oh, he's lying about the letter. So I'm going to, you know, you know uh, go through everything he said about it and get him on it. But no, um, maybe I misspoke, but I, didn't, I don't believe I did. So anyway, hold on. Wow, he thought she just joined the panel just to try to trip him up to see if he's going to say something wrong and prove that he doesn't have the letter. That's the only thing that he told the truth about was that a letter was sent. And it was, does he not know what a cease and desist is? Maybe he didn't know. I hope his lawyers told him by now what that means. He's so rude. And for someone not providing any receipts or a clear-cut story or timeline, I don't think that that's appropriate whatsoever. And in the stream alone, he goes between saying he has something to send to Queen Bee to verify what he's saying is true, and then back to he doesn't have the letter. So I would not be surprised if he had said it in a previous stream the day prior that he has it. <laughs> Annoying. Save him Queen's email first before I do anything else. Okay, hold up. Um, I know yeah. his email a lot, though, just so you know. Now, oh. it, I'll give you yeah, guys I, I don't know what live stream she's talking about, but I'll pull it up if you guys, if you need me to. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. we can do that. We can do that. If, if you want to host me to sit here and talk about this whole thing, I can do that in a few hours. I can't do it right now. I've only got like another big 10 minutes. I shouldn't even be on right now. I'm just, yeah, but I mean, um, I'll host it. We can just chat out here. Yeah, you're in the live, right? Right now, kick? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, yeah, let's. Uh... Yes, he was very busy. I think he said it was because he, the army pays on during that week, but instead, as you'll see after this, what he ends up going and doing, and is pretty much talking smack and playing a zombie or demon killing video game important stuff uh, let's okay so you're streaming us are you gonna do that I, yeah. I, I won't kick yeah but I, I have a thing i need to talk to my audience about and then uh, i can come over here and you know work on some work with you guys if you want but um anyway okay what else was i saying about the email thing oh yeah i was gonna say hold on i think he has to talk to his audience about which is pretty much whining about people not believing him about this letter that he was misleading everyone on and playing a demon killing game right uh, yeah because i i mean you want to give me the end or something because you're streaming aren't you yeah, okay. I'm on here. Yeah, I'm on my own fucking live stream. Yeah, we need my stream. Yeah, okay, yeah, but I, I don't know why. I, I just figured. Well, I mean, I jumped over because I went live to talk to the peeps for a second. Let know. Well, you're streaming, aren't you? He's so condescending and so rude. Oh uh, yeah, bro, she's streaming. You joined her panel. What's going on? And that someone is telling me immediately, hey, Queen's asking about you or something. So I came over here really quick just to talk to you for a second, just to link with you. So because I guess there's a misunderstanding about the letter or something. Like <laughs> I'm just trying to hook you guys up and plan to talk to you guys when we can. Um, okay, hold up. So the problem with the email. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What's up? Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I, I... Uh, hook them up. Hook them up with nothing but psycho babble. Everything he says right after he's like, yeah, what's up? Like, I'm like, sorry you're so put out, sir. But you involved the people that are now asking questions. Nobody else did that. So entitled. I'm in my kitchen. I'll just restart it after this. Um, okay, I'm off the air. Okay, there we go. We're done. So, uh, well, I'm just kind of confused. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, do, do you have? A, do you have? Did you get a picture? Do you have a letter with you? Do you have? Do you have? No, it? no, no. Well, no, I explained this fully. So Friday, yeah, I. What is this? Okay, you didn't, I thought you said you went over. I thought you said you went over. I read the letter. I read the letter. I went and read the letter at my mother's. She's taking it to file a police report. She's supposed to do it yesterday. So I'm about, I'm about to find out what's going on with that here in a minute. But when she's done, I'm taking it to my attorney, and then I'll get it to the whole internet. That's why I said Friday. That's what everybody told me to do. So what's weird is yeah, yeah, she's taking it to file a police report. Let's remember that he says that because then later, and I'm not trying to dishonor his request not to mention his brother. But he says that the mom, the brother is legally representing him or his mom and is going to be taking the letter to the police station with his mom. So now she's done it or he needs to check it. See it, how confusing it is when it really shouldn't be. <laughs> I give it to the whole internet. I mean, I'm just kind of you know, concerned about, you know, my... Yeah, if you want it, if you need it for personal reasons or something, like I, I guess if you want to talk to me, like again, well, I mean, I'm talking about it or what? I know, right, no, it, it, mentioned your, it mentioned your channel name next to Betty Molly. Exactly what I said Friday. That's that's okay. the only time you're mentioned next to. Like I was trying to explain that, but and who and whoever watches this, if anybody does, please tell me 
wouldn't take screenshots or pictures of the letter when they went to their moms. If there's anybody out there that wouldn't do that, like uni claims, please comment because I'd love to know why. If your mom told you not to, is that why you wouldn't? I don't understand. But then again, he suggests that maybe he did, but he doesn't want to give them away to make sure that Kumi doesn't share because she would never share it live if he asked her not to. I'd be insulted by his lack of trust since he's so quick to <laughs> call people out that they're offending him somehow. Okay, Friday. Yeah, I guess maybe I was confused because I, didn't, I just was, I mean, if there's any kind of personal information or anything like that, no. I mean, you know, I, I, I got kids too, you know what I mean? I didn't know if there's any anybody letters and shit. I mean, I just don't want to. Well, how do you think I feel? You know, I'm, I'm feeling the same way. I'm trying, I've never had any of this before. This is the first time it's ever happened to me. And yeah. Well, how do you think I feel? Because that's all that's important to Uni. That's all anybody should be considering, talking about, reacting to is how his feelings are being portrayed. Not anybody else he's involved in or what we think of this letter. That's not important. Nope. I mean, People don't do this stuff. It's weird, right? Um, that's what it's about. If she was just named without any personal information and stuff, right? Why did you find that the need to tag her in public? Like, I gotta talk to you behind the scenes. It's important. Every, that's what everybody told me to do. I don't know what you mean. Like, I'm going off everyone's No, not to you. Like, you're going yeah, off the best thing. As far as, like, missing your words up, like, was this missing your words up? Kind of like when, you, when, when you said, like, Omar Betty was going to, that she caused a mistrial with an exclamation point. Yeah, she did. No, exactly. No, I didn't say it. It was in a thumbnail again. You said it in a thumbnail, yeah. That's what I said. No, no, that's what, see, you're talking past me. Okay, it was in my thumbnail. Okay, and I went when Nicholas knew about that, I fixed it immediately, right? So, yeah, we're talking about one thumbnail out of uh, hundreds or something, yes. So, yeah, I'm I just saying, you miss me speak, speak a lot, guys. No. So, apparently, his thumbnail said that Betty caused, caused a mistrial or something about a mistrial, and his thumbnail said it, and he acknowledges that. But when she says, you said this, he says, no, I never said that. Okay, my thumbnail said that. A thumbnail is an extension of your video, which is what you express, whatever you're going live about your video. And the thumbnail is a preview of that. So if your thumbnail said it, you said it and you published it. It's like almost it almost feels like you're arguing semantics with him, but it's required to get down to the bottom of the root of whatever you're trying to talk about with him. It's maddening. I don't think she was taking an inventory on how many thumbnails you've mistitled or displayed. I think she's speaking on you presently speaking to her and all the convolutions included in just this conversation alone. Huh? I really don't. Give me some more examples. As we go. <laughs> but you just said you did a minute ago. You said I do that often. No, no, you said I do a lot. No, no you right. said it. This stuff makes me break him up. Or something. No, no, no. I, 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 I had to do that often. Okay, well, if you want to yell at me, you can yell at me. Okay, well, then let me finish quickly. Though. Wow, gaslighting, which his girlfriend likes to do. That she's yelling at him, and she's not at all. Adult conversations are yelling. Ridiculous. And he's so rude when he says it. Just he's so put out right now. But you came here, bro. Like you weren't even tagged or invited necessarily, but you showed up, and now you're acting as though it's such an inconvenience. And let's take note that he says that his mom and him spoke on Friday. <laughs> Okay. So Friday we get the letter, right? right so right. my mom calls, she tells me about it, and I go into Discord. I'm like, okay, what do I do? I didn't think that I needed to even do more than just like, one check out this fucking letter. What the fuck yes. do I have to do? Like, okay. So when I'm, in, when I'm in Discord, my judgment was because now I'm just thinking about this all logically. Like I have no clue how to handle this shit. So I'm logically. <laughs> oh, okay. So I get the letter, and the reason that I didn't like pursue you is because I didn't think it was necessary with, with you being named in this weird way, where it's almost like he's naming creators that are involved in talking about him. He's got because uh, I think you talked about him. Is why I assume that. So we got Benny, we got Molly, we got you, and then we got me. I believe you named both of my channels, but again, I have to look at it again. And uh, a bunch of other creators. So that's just a like section of this two and a half page or two page letter that he hand wrote, put into an envelope, and mailed to my mother's home address. Okay. And so boom, right there, which I believe he's denied since hand wrote, put in an envelope, and mailed to my mother. Hand wrote, very important because he then. Such a big deal that he didn't say he hand, or that he hand wrote the letter, but he did say that he hand wrote the letter. Okay. The front of the letter, um, it has his tail and everything, and his name is in the letter. He, he admits it's from him. So yes, uh, the thing is, the reason I don't have it right now um, is pretty obvious because uh, number one, I don't live in my mom's basement. This is just a fucking meme or a uh, joke or something that got turned into a uh, um, meme or whatever. Um, so like, I do see my mom sometimes, but it's typically I don't really have a lot of time to spend with her because of, I can talk about that behind the scenes. So what I did. My question: If part of his motive for even bringing this public is to prove that he doesn't live in his mom's basement. Because I, that seems very important to him. I mean, he laughs it off, but I don't think he thinks it's funny at all if people suggest he lives in his mom's basement. Was the next time I went over, um, I sat down with her and read through it and myself and told her I'd like to take it. And she said, okay, after, and I'm only going to say this here once, I'm not going to bring it up again and repeat it because I'll probably get myself for even saying it. After my brother takes her to file the police report, which again, I think happened yesterday, I think I'm going to be able to go get the letter this afternoon, this evening, whenever I can make it there because it's a bit of a drive. I don't live next to her. And okay. One, uh, notice he had to point out he doesn't live next to her again. And two, he's not sure if she wants to make a police report or not. Yet yeah, he went live about this an hour or more at least more than once if anybody else got this letter i don't care if my mom said no i'd be taking a picture of it and then i just promised i wouldn't show it and i wouldn't until we spoke to a lawyer um take it home as long as she's cool with that and because again my, my thing is you go and file your police report you have to have a letter for it fine mm -hmm. and then i'm taking it to my lawyer and probably will file a police report after i see my lawyer this is all i know maybe it was dumb of me you're, you're probably like people out there are probably right it's dumb to go live right away and tell people about the letter oh. but the reason i did it and i swear i'll shut up i know i ramble is mm -hmm. because i'm going off of the, i'm thinking in the basis of uh fairness where we've reported this stuff before whenever molly docks uh, i call donor gals people that wanted refunds you know we talked about it right away whenever she docks a youtuber we talked about it right away because it's in relation to the, the thing we're covering and of course i don't want to have different rules when it comes to me that doesn't put into some weird you know um... it's entirely fair and understandable that you would go live about the letter after you receive it i mean i definitely 
I would be careful on how I would mention JLR, given he applied for the allegedly applied for the Guinness Book of World Records to be named the most litigious man, and he sued several people. I've heard. I would be a little nervous to even mention his name again. Now I would try to lie about it and show the entire letter immediately, but he immediately went live and misled everybody. That's the problem, dude. It's not you talking about the letter. Nobody's criticizing you for that, like you're trying to gaslight. It's the fact that you entirely misled and then made someone else fearful for her and her family and then dragged it out and provided no receipts, no Discord tag, no copy of the letter. I Two weeks later, I convinced that you wouldn't even have provided the letter itself to even Queen privately. You still haven't. <laughs> but nobody would have seen it had EKC not brought it to her channel and then clicked Queen Bee's link. That's messed up. And I would know everything said in this letter or I wouldn't be talking about it publicly. I would know factual only information to share with people about it or those I then have involved in this letter receivable. I don't know if his mods know more than he does or who does, but it's clear he doesn't. Danger of a police, uh, whatever you have to do with the cops Yeah, yeah, but so why didn't you just take a copy of just in case you lose the letter? Why don't you just take a, take a, copy of a picture of the letter and just email it to you? Well, that's fine. If, if, if I want a copy of it, I can probably have to do it right now. But again, I'm talking to my lawyer before. Like I, like I said, Queen, if she tells me she's not going to share it until I go to my lawyer, um, she can have a copy of it. I don't have an issue with that. I'm not against anything. I haven't, look, I've been working. I've been taking care of the fam, and I've been trying to handle this letter thing at the same time. Okay, I so, got it. Yeah. Life is, you know, I'm not <laughs> but I mean, like, my mom gets letters. She lives in Florida. She takes a picture of it, and she, she texts me, and she literally does it in six five minutes. Sure. I, I mean, but, you know, I, what we're told is, though, and I get your perspective, Tim, but we've got a huge amount of other people out there that think that, you know, it would it'd be dumb for me to just put it out or share it until I've seen my attorney. If we change our mind, I'll go get it right now and I'll come show it to all of you before I go to my attorney if that's what everybody wants. A huge amount of people that don't think that you should share the letter. Yes, probably your subs that are believing you're gaslighting and misconceptions. But if any of them felt that way after being told their name was in the letter and that you've seen the letter yourself, then I'm worried for them being online. Whatever you guys want, just tell me. As long as the audience is cool, I'll do it. So you just make up your mind. I mean, I'm I think based on advice from the mods and the people. But you do have copies people. of it, right? I mean, you didn't just no, like no, that. No. Like, you don't no, have a copy of it? No, I, I just saw it one time since now. My mom has a letter. Oh, okay. And when my so he does have a copy. He doesn't have a copy. He does have a copy. He doesn't have a copy. He's not even taking a copy until after he talks to his lawyer. No, he doesn't have a copy. Oh, my gosh. Trust my brother and my mother. They're not going to throw it away or whatever. So, um, you know. Uh, I would suggest you make a copy of it. Just I will. Like basically, that's uh, what I'm going to do. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I would. I will. I haven't taken possession of it yet. I don't have it yet. Okay. No, I'm just saying, like, it's just in case the letter gets it's handed. Sure. Yeah, in fact, okay, I'll take it. I'll go do it now, but, you know, I'm worried. You don't have to show it to anyone. To yeah, copy, I know. Yeah. I don't want anyone pressuring me to show it without talking to me yeah, first. Okay. I the queen, because she's mentioned. But see, now that opens the door for Betty and then, too. I don't give a fuck about them. They can fuck off. Yeah, yeah. That opens the door for Betty and then. Why? Because you think Betty's going to be like, oh, he said I was mentioned, therefore he needs to send me the letter, and now I'm going to show everyone. Really, dude? <laughs> uh, you already said you were going to send her one, so you already opened that door, if that hypothetical door were really going to be opened. And I'm pretty sure being Jailer's friend or whatever she is to him, that she could get a copy of the letter if she wanted to. That's silly. And a lame excuse. Yeah, I'm not just kind of like I said, I'm just, I mean, I don't want to try to make you feel uncomfortable or nothing, but I'm just, you're you know, not. I just would like to know, like, I mean, you know. Yeah, you can show it to YouTube. You can show it to Queen and just be like, just Queen, here's no, the letter. Like I said, that's perfect. That's what I wanted to talk to and you. And you know, I'm not going to be showing it to nobody. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I, you know, that's yeah, not. Let's that's go. Not, I mean, you know. do you use Discord sometimes because it has a really good I use Discord. Discord. I use it right now. I mean, like, I, I okay. talked to Navy last night. I was like, hey, what do you do? I asked well, I asked Navy last night. I said, "Can you help me find this? Uh, can you help me? I said, can you help me find this tag? Because I can't find it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid or what? Because I don't know what's going on." And um, you know, Navy I said, "I look." But... Well, you know, Navy had said himself. He said, "I looked and I don't see any tag anywhere." And I'm like, well, "What the hell?" Um, um, I know the tag's there, but uh, back to the logistics of Discord and it being required that she use Discord. Not like there's not WhatsApp, Telegram, Facebook Messenger, email, for instance. Christ on a cracker. You know, I'll, find, I'll go and find it with you. Like, I don't want to interrupt your stream, so, you know, I'm going to mom. Yeah, I, I, mean, I just felt like I was stupid and I didn't want to make you look stupid because, like, no. you were tagging me. Oh, my God, I died at this part. I may have to replay this part when I'm editing. I'll beat him saying, no, I don't want to talk to any of your family. That's hilarious. Like, and then he says, I'm going to mom's. Do you really want to talk to my mom? So now I'm questioning if he ever even went to his mom's in the first place. Oh, my gosh. A mind F. I don't want to talk to my mom with me because no. it seemed like, why not? She's I don't want to talk to her. I'm talking to Queen. I'm talking to Queen. I was like, hey, man, I can't find the messages that you was tagging me. And I tried to reach out to my Twitter, but I didn't hear from you or him. Can you help me with the tags? I can't find them. I'm really bad at Twitter. Oh, he's like, I didn't know. This is on Discord where you said you would tag me or whatever. So yeah. I asked him to help me find it. And I was like, hey, can you help me find this? Uh, you know? No, I know. I'm, that's cool. That's he's cool. like, you know, my girlfriend and I are searching for the tag. I was like, well, can you screenshot it and shoot it over to me because I can't find it? And like, I don't know. I'll just find it right after, right when we're done here because, like I said, I have to go. But I have to be somewhere in like an hour and I want to do a stream first and just handle things with my audience real quick, like 15 minutes stream with them. But a 15 second stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because it's much longer than that. I think it's like 51 minutes that I screen recorded. I mean, sitting there playing video games the entire time, talking about the logistics of the game, and then whining about this situation that you created for yourself, little buddy. Um, you know, I can yeah, because he's not telling you the truth. We can't find it. Him and his girlfriend both look for it. So okay, no, I'll look for it myself. It's just it's from days and days ago. So it'll like what Friday when it's
I can't. Okay. It's on you guys. Yeah, it's your community tab is where it's at. Like, I don't know. It just says. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, yeah. Can I, your... I can find that time on the community tab and then go into Discord. So take time. So okay. Yeah. So, like, no, no, I'm not being serious, but it makes you feel bad. At least seen on there. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. Like you tagged me, and that's how I seen it because I, you know, what I'm saying like I. Yeah. No, you're that's, good. You're otherwise, good. I would have never known anything about it. I don't fuck yeah, it. yeah. That's why I tagged you on community tab. I didn't think you used Discord because you didn't respond to the tag in Discord. So that's what I'm trying to say. I had to listen to that twice just to make sure that I heard it correctly. That he said he used the YouTube community post because she didn't respond on Discord. But now this magical, annoying Discord tag is unfindable. Uh, okay. So that's why I use the tag and then said, hey, watch my stream so you get this info. Because again, I don't know, like... That was like, just yesterday, one day ago. So one day ago... No, I uh, talked to you again yesterday, but this was Friday was when all this happened. Well, right? your community tag says one day ago, and then uh, the only other one on here is just the, uh, is just the, the live stream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, but my point is, like, what, what, what do people, like, the community want to be comfortable? Because, like, there are people out there, like, questioning whether I'm telling the truth about the letter or why. So he asks Queen what would make her feel most comfortable, then proceeds to say what his perception of the community's response is, and then everybody in the chat, and B. Tim says it's not the community that matters, it's Queen. But he's not even respecting Queen's failings and all of this, so I don't even know why he insults by acting like he does or asking what she wants, because even when she just says, just send me the part that, you know, concerns me, he still to this day hasn't. Yeah. Some things about oh, the letter, so. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't think it's really the community's thing. It's Queen. That's what I think. So maybe that's why she wants the email and she wants it now. Like, she doesn't, you don't have to share the letter. As long as Queen gets the letter, that's what's important. Because, or at least, like, no, I, like I, just, say, like I said, I'll take a picture of it. I don't know what you yeah. mean by weird. Uh, well, weird. weird. Oh, okay. okay, so so JLR starts off basically mentioning the channels or what happened or something, right? Then he goes, because I, I, I read this through already on uh, Rock a lot, but I'm going off my memory. <laughs> so, I, like I said, I'm going off my memory here, so don't go picking apart my words or something. Like, I'm probably going to get some stuff wrong. I've only seen the letter once and it was read to me once. Um, Nobody wants to pick apart your words. I don't even listen to this dude. But you almost have to to find out what the f he's trying to say and what he's saying because it changes so frequently. It's like 10 minute Tom. Hi, I'm Tom. Hi, I'm Tom. Nice to meet you. But then the second reading from Tom would be like entirely different and he'd be saying his name was different. We were dealing with uni. Um, now, the letter goes in, like I said, mentions the channels, mentions some stuff about like how I'm wrong that he hates women or that he, uh, like there's a few things I mentioned in my stream about JLR and how I took it was he was trying to center in on things. That, so if he could say, um, I can't say that I didn't go and go to Sandy Hook and, and you know, uh, stop the parents, follow the parents and do this to the parents. But I can say that I didn't, that I don't hate women. And I can bring this up as, and I think he meant to write defamation, but he wrote it. What word did he use, Rachel? What word did I say he used? Because it wasn't defamation. It was like rudeness or something like that or whatever. He was like. He used defamation and several times. Oh, and he also says derogatory and malicious. And I'm going to show you guys the letter after this. Yeah, it was like, uh, your son's being rude by, like, uh, saying I hate women when it's not true. I love women. And then he goes, it's, like I said, it's two pages of, like, complete and utter psychopath nonsense, in my opinion. Uh, let me add that in, because, you know, JLR's trying to imply that he's, you know, being, you know, defamed or something when he's not. Um, and then the second part is where he mentions, so my channel and Queen's name comes up alongside, uh, like I said, Betty, uh, the other people. And it's more of, like, just a brief mentioning. Like, I don't even know what his intent was. I, like, even reading it myself. It doesn't at all mention the channels, and you'll hear that in AKC's what she shares when she joins Queen, Queen Bee's panel to talk about the facts regarding the letter. It's like a shorthand, weird code, one of his titles, apparently. And it just said Queen Bee. That's how it mentioned Queen Bee and all these other channels, he claims. It's ridiculous. Self, I couldn't figure out what his intent was. I don't know if he was trying to like be uh, legally meticulous and name where these initial things came from. And then at the end of the letter, it's some babble about like, you know, I don't even want to try to remember it because I was so like, you know, thrown off by the first couple parts. I didn't really even focus by the end, honestly. But um, it's some weird fucking babble, basically. So, uh, but the threatening part of the letter, of course, it is extremely threatening. The letter itself, like, I made sure it, I, mean, yeah, I probably wrote it down on my community tab because I felt that way when I wrote it. I felt like I was extremely threatened. My mother felt so threatened. She, and I've already kind of implied this on uh, my channel, so I'll just go ahead and say it here, though. But she, she actually loaded up one of her, you know, like guns for protection and make sure that she has access to it. She's this freaked out. And uh, of course, we're like, no, calm down. You know, nothing's gonna happen. Well, I know nothing's gonna happen. So anyway, though, um, where we're at with it is she's supposed to be done with the police report Monday and then Tuesday. And if she's not today, I'm just going to take the letter. And like I said, I got to go there today. I told her Wednesday I'm coming. It's, or, I'm sorry, was it Tuesday? I told her Tuesday I'm coming because yesterday she pissed me off when she said she hadn't got anything done. So um, like I said, I'm going to go grab the letter. She hasn't done anything with it yet. And uh, Queen, I'll, I can just do a call with Queen. And if she wants, you know, we can sit and I'll, I'll live stream the letter to Queen so she can record and take pictures and get just a full, real, real fucking, you know, video of like the front, the back, and the other pages or whatever she wants. Now that's as long as she removes the addresses and names of my family members from it, which I'm sure she will. So anyway, that's the main issue with it. It contains yeah, some yeah, I'm not having intentions on showing it. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? I just, that's why yeah. I was like, I kind of feel like yeah. she would tell that, you know what I'm saying? That this went down the way it did because I have a lot of respect for your channel. Like, this is kind of fucked up. I, you know what I'm saying? I would be like, hey, man, uh, you know, and I know, like I said, you know, like, I just kind of like, you know, do what others do what I'm doing to you, you know, yeah, like, I, 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 apologize, like, hey, I apologize, you know, I want I you to see that, you know, let's check this out because I want to make sure you and your family's all right. You know, I got respect for you, your wife, your kids, you know, I want to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we ain't dealing with full fucking neck here. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. Yeah, the letter's addressed to my mother. It's not addressed to me. It means oh, me as like, okay. yeah, that's why I didn't, I thought that I would be able to just grab the letter, but no, like, she, she does have to go file what she, she has to do what she wants to do with the letter before I can do what I want to do, essentially, because she was the one that got it. That's what she, she wants a restraining order. She wants the police report. Um, my brother is adamant about this. Again, um, it's, I never mentioned my brother because he doesn't want to be mentioned on my channel. This is an extenuating circumstance that's making Pat known. So I'm going to ask other creators not to bring him up or mention him or
Okay, here's one thing. Maybe I'm disconnected there because I made sure to be very specific with what I said on, on the community tab and on my video, like to get the information that I could give at that point. And I, 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 everyone in the chat, everybody out there seemed to understand that, you know, that's why I wasn't being more detailed with certain parts of the issue. But then we had people going live and sitting there like asking why, even though I explained why, that it wasn't my decision. It's not me being a dick or trying to be, trying to rob the community of content or something. I'm doing the opposite where I could have grabbed the entire letter, come here and make this big to do with it and make fun of him, you know, done an hour long couple hours of the stream, make fun of his ass and dunk on him, which by the way, I'm probably going to do guys. I probably you did do that though, Uni. You made tons of content about it and made fun of him and said you dunked on him and then said, well, I didn't really dunk on you. I could have gone way harder. And made a huge big to do about it when it was a cease and desist, which had you talked to a lawyer, they may have potentially told you not to do exactly what you ended up doing. I can't. I couldn't use it for content when it happened. I couldn't because my mother wouldn't release a letter to me under my brother's, uh, under her familial and legal counsel, as I'm supposed to say it, um, couldn't release a letter to me until uh, she has done what she's supposed to do or, or could, you know, needs to do with it. So, essentially. Are you well-versed enough to actually file the police report? I mean, like, to tell them about who this person is? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I mean, I had a long talk with her about well, who he is, and then my brother too. Okay, my my family too, and um, that's why at first I didn't. I know it's crazy, but it took me being counseled by family and by friends. When I say friends, I mean moderators, Discord, internet peeps. That even the audience that uh, people that wrote in after I did the video, like, yo, you do need to take this seriously. Like, I know you don't want to because you don't want. Like, I don't want to imagine this is anything more than a beef with JLR trying to be intimidating. Though I have been kind of my mind has been changed in the last couple of days that you know this is one of those things that you can't just because he has in the past gone really far. JLR has. It's not one of those things you just like. Oh, so now I'm just an idiot. Like I'm just a dumb dude trying to just do YouTube and chill and do, be me. And so my thing is like, oh come on, dude. Like this idiot JLR putting on these what seem to be like uh, uh, idiot performance pieces disrespect soul shooters and mass murderers like yeah he's not gonna go and do anything real so that's my side that's my i'm sorry that's my mindset and other people have different opinions and i'm trying to respect that but again that's why i didn't like if, if i would have had the mindset when this first happened like um can't say a word about it on youtube you need to talk to queen you need to do this and that i probably would have not um i probably would have waited until i talked to queen now again i don't want to be i don't lie to you guys because again like queen's mentioned uh, not as a person she's not mentioned well, i guess you could say she's you argue she is she's mentioned next to the brands of these other people so if it would have been queen mentioned outside of that context sure i would have made a different decision because like here's how i see the others because I, 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 who, you talking about any of them? Yeah, other, what other creators besides Queen? Yeah, were yeah, no, the only, the only creator other than JLR is a little, like, shit squad, and a few people that I didn't really, even, I still even read it, didn't even really recognize who they were, but I think they seem true crime, but the reason I didn't yet is, uh, most mostly because they can fuck off, <laughs> like, you know, they're boxers and shitheads, so, um, the, the only name I saw... So, there was something you didn't recognize, but, you know, okay, Betty and Molly, obviously Molly's gone, but yeah. Betty can fuck yeah. off, she's JLR's buddy, but the other ones yeah. you didn't recognize? Yeah, no, I don't, I don't even know if they're, I don't even want to be specific to say they were creators. I mean, I'm sure that there's a couple of them that were, but it seemed like channel names that, you know, I don't, you know, maybe I should have, you could make a point to that, sure, but, you know, I was kind of panicky and more concerned with, like, again, look at the amount of criticism that's come out of this whole situation. I really didn't think it'd be like that, because again, we're talking about me and my mom being, like, docs like hell. You typically don't see people that are docs like hell, so. I haven't, even seen, just, I haven't seen anything about your mom. Oh my god, I cannot take it with this. <clears throat> Calling it a docs, him and his mom being docs like hell. Your mom was mailed a letter. That is not being docs, do you need? Now, if JLR wants you. If JLR went to his channel and posted, I sent a letter to and named your mom's name and address, that would be doxing your mom. But sending her a letter that none of us would have even known about had you not gone live about it is not a dox. And it wasn't even addressed to your mom. It was addressed to you and sent to your mom's address. And then it was sent to your dad's address because J JLR states in it that it's to their belief that there's no way you could be running that YouTube channel without your dad's help. Which is probably just a dig and they just did it because they could, but yeah, not a dox. Please stop. Because if nobody else, if somebody didn't listen to anybody but you, they would be completely misconstrued about what a dox actually is. I haven't seen anything about you, I haven't seen anything about your kids, nothing. Oh, okay, I people know. thought it was weird that you didn't, they where, where, in public and you didn't contact her. People where, said, no, I haven't seen anything about my, I haven't seen anything about my, I didn't, no, I said my mom got doxed, she got doxed with a letter. Like, the letter is oh, being doxed, yeah. He had to dox her address, dox all the information he could about her in order to mail her and threaten her in the way he did, yeah, like. We're Again, not a dox, sir. It was sent to your mother. It wasn't even addressed to her. Not a dox. Not a dox. Both dox by JLR is what I'm saying. And it's like the community typically will look at when that happens. They're not so nitpicky about the, you know, every little detail of the person who's... Nitpicky, he says. Because everybody's just picking apart every little word. No, bro. You give... For one, you're either purposely lying, which I believe he's capable of at this point, or accidentally lying because you don't actually remember what's in the letter or didn't actually see it, so you're lying about actually seeing it. Or... You have some condition that causes you to do this. I don't know, but you have presented so many details that are different every other time, don't make sense. You get act put out and rude and condescending when somebody's like, well, that doesn't make sense because this is what you just said. It's not everybody else and not you, bro. It's not everybody else and not you. You know, being threatened and, and gone at, like, you know what I'm saying? So I, now, if I would have thought that it would happen, yeah, I probably would have done things completely differently. But, but then at this time, I'm not even looking at the community like they're, you know, whatever they have been in the last few days. I don't even know how to describe what's been going on the last few days. I don't want to talk about it right now. Of course, we can later if you want because I'm running out of time. But um, whatever, you know, is there anything else you want to ask me? Because I do have to go. I promise you I'll come back as quickly as you want. You just tell me when to come back, but I need to jump. So, well, I mean, like I said, I, mean, I, like I, said, I, wasn't, I wouldn't reach out to you had I not known what was going on. You know, had I not seen the community tab. Um, I'm happy you did. Yeah. You know, that's why I did it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I think we need to, you know, you know, put that out there that. 
you know, how did, how did you not make these like, community tabs? I wouldn't have even known anything about this letter until you were ready to produce this letter or you were ready to say something. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I am ready. I'm ready to produce it. I just can't at this point. Like, I'll produce it as soon as I can. And I was really clear about that. But the community tab post was me trying to let you know, like, to say, hey, watch my video. I wasn't being, I don't know, maybe you thought I was being nasty or something. I, I, I definitely was not. Like, no. I how I, okay, good, good. I no, hey, ours nasty. He's nasty yeah. as hell. Oh, okay, yeah. And I was doxed to fucking all hell and back by him. Exactly. Oh, no. That's what I've been concerned about. So people out there. When she said she was doxed all the way to hell and you said, oh, yeah, me too. No, you weren't, dude. You were not doxed like Queen B was. It's insulting that you would even say that you were. She had, she was actually doxxed. Nobody knew her real name prior to JLR making a post with her entire history, name, location, and then links and other slander. Regardless of what part was true and what part wasn't, it's against terms of service to provide links about a person that take you off of YouTube and provide information about somebody that isn't presented by them on YouTube. I don't know if you know that JLR, but it is. I saw another creator do that and they actually misidentified the person and were sharing a person's criminal background in a chat drop link in their chat we're like go check this out this is about so-and-so but it wasn't about so-and-so but just doing that dropping the off-platform website is against terms of service it's inciting harassment probably stalking cyber stalking really and bullying and is against terms of service it could probably be even considered spam honestly but no uni you were not at all not even minusculely nearly as docs if even fucking doxed as queen b you turd. Oh my god. The fucking all hell and back by him. Back. Oh, no. That's what I've been concerned about. So people out there really want to chill on you or something for how I handle this. I really am not going to. No, I'm not trying to chill on you. No, I do. Oh, I don't think you are. I, you know, there, are there are some channels out there doing that. I've seen clips. So I'm not trying to throw shame on your channel again. I wouldn't talk to you behind the scenes, but I guess I just did. But anyway. Um, I don't think you have to click clickbait. On purpose. Well, okay. Uh, maybe you have a different, different kind of like definition of clickbait. But I... And it's Monday, May 8th, and nothing was delivered. Not by him. <laughs> to this day. I don't know if I'll get this out tonight or probably tomorrow, Tuesday. But to this day, nothing has been delivered. So by definition, you are clickbait. You said you were going to provide something, if even only to Queen Bee herself, and you never did. You said there was a Discord tag, and you never did. And then how you arrogantly went live dunking on JLR was clickbait, because he sent you a cease and desist. He didn't address a handwritten letter to your mom that said your son needs to shut up or else, like you portrayed. Not to mention claiming that it included Queen Bee when, I don't know what the term for it is, when it was a digital reference as far as like then you'll hear EKC say exactly how it is like regarding your title of a live that included Queen B or a tag of hers nothing about her or her family or anything and I get like PTSD from all of the doxing that she's actually had done on here if I were her so she handles him very respectfully despite him being in my opinion abusive regarding her and her channel and the letter dishonorable behavior I think if what you're saying is true, then it's not really clickbait. Clickbait would be the, if it's not delivered. So if I was to say something's happening, it doesn't well, happen. Nothing, but yeah, but there was no. Okay, so the original community tab post was like Queen B. You added her, and you're like, you were mentioning this letter to my mom, yeah. and it was very public. You didn't reach out to her behind the scenes. Like, there was no, there, there was no threats to her in the letter, so it was essentially like kind of clickbait. That's, that's, it wasn't. I said she was mentioned in the letter. And, and the thumbnail was definitely clickbait. clickbait. And if I would have gotten a letter about somebody, I definitely would have went to them. Like I said, all I can do. If my family would have gotten a letter, this is the thing. If, my, if the shoe was on the other foot and my family were to get a letter and they were to say, you know, blah, 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 two page letter, and then all of a sudden it says, Uni Rock, Navy, Tex, YouTube, Cappy, Nappy, um, B Tim, um, Chronicles of the Shady, Heels in the Air, Down the Rabbit Hole, and what there's a video. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Uh, I would have came to you guys and I would say, hey, I got this letter. You know, uh, my family member got this letter. Your names were mentioned in it. Uh, I'm going to go get, I'm going to get a, a okay. quick pick and I'm going to send you a picture or an email of it. You know, uh, we're going to make a quick part. Oh my God, he's been talking nonstop, providing no actual factual information. And he can't even just shut up and listen to her talk and respond, which she hasn't done like this entire time hardly, was like, yeah, I would have, uh-huh, yeah, uh -huh. It's like a child without their Ritalin that's like waiting to go outside and their mom's lecturing. It's, I'm just trying to find a diplomatic description. I'm not going to say what I'm really thinking, but it's rude and annoying. That's what you choose to do with it, but well, we're going to make a police report and take care of it on our end, and um, it doesn't have any personal information or your children's information, so you don't have to worry about that, and that's the first yeah. thing, because I'm worried, because people do have kids just like you have kids, I mean, you got things to worry about, you know what I'm saying, it's, you yeah, know, so I'm just, just get a screenshot of it, and I know nothing about nothing, so just, just drop to my inbox and screenshot it. You should wait, is what you're saying. You're live about it. Well, yeah, because I mean, you were live about it already, so I was like, hey, I'm live about it. He's asking her feedback, like, oh, like earlier, he's like, well, what, what, are you, so you're saying I should have done this. So you're saying uh, you would do this, as if he is willing to receive the information, but really he's not. He's not good at taking constructive criticism or just criticism, period. And he portrays or feigns that he is. And he instantly went live, yes, and Uni Rage claims that it's because he was in a panic or whatever, an anxiety attack, and then even throws PTSD in there. When you're in that state, you aren't able to go live, assign a thumbnail, sit at a desk and actually like interact and do the, those things. You're like anxiety attack, pain straight to the heart, panic attack, can't breathe or catch your breath. And PTSD, everybody's experiences are different, but no, ma'am, no. 
right? You were live and like, hey, I want to, if you want to talk behind the scenes, we can, but you were already live on it. So how no, I I'm, not, I'm not live. I was just live telling people what happened. I wasn't live showing the letter. I didn't have it yet. I wasn't live to give the contents of it just to make sure to give the information like to people that are mentioned. That need yeah, to I just got that right. screenshot. I, mean, I didn't know it was your community tab and you were live. That's all. It's just a screenshot yeah. of your community tab. You know what I mean? I'm, so I'm, I didn't know anything I'm, about any of it. Um, I mean, listen, I, I, shot, you know? I, I can tag you in Discord. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll pull it up in a minute. Like when I have time, everyone, I'll give it to you. But okay, my, my thumbnail is JLR boxes and mails my mother, which is a direct. Then like every part of that is true. So then it's got JLR. I've taken the liquify tool and just kind of moved this face around, but I do that with everybody. And it says a uh, little speech bubble. I do that with all my thumbnails. I think it's cute. Anyway, mom, Uni Jason said lies about me. He thinks it's cute. Nobody cares. Did he say Uni Jason? Did he just dox himself? Because that'd be a dox. That'd be a dox example there. Uni, if you can dox yourself, people say you can. Like if you post your own address, that'd be doxing yourself. But lies about me coming from JLR. That's about the only factual information he stated thus far. Because the letter does say that, that he was talking about him maliciously and not factually and goes into semantics about whether or not J he, JLR, actually, I guess you and talked about him reporting from Summer's parents' house and JLR makes it clear that he wasn't actually like in the Wells home, that he was on a public street, semantics really, but never gives her the Discord tag and mails your mother. It was addressed to you. Yes, it was mailed to your mother, which is disturbing, but any sympathy or empathy we would have had was completely eradicated by your misleading and unprepared misinformation and we're almost to the end now stop him telling him to stop now that that um that right there the uh thing jlr is saying is my take of what's been read to me by the letters so i don't think it's like baby at all that's just my opinion though i respect you have that opinion i'll think about that i'll, I'll consider it but i just don't agree um okay uh, it's been a minute do you want to come in later please? what do you want me to do do you want yeah, to that's cool, after yeah, your yeah, stream yeah, and then yeah, come on so yeah that's fine that's that's, that's okay. cool whatever, whatever works man yeah and then so um like i said all, I want, all you gotta do is tell me whenever you're gonna be done streaming and i'll hopefully be able to get you on discord and then Give you all the, I'll mean, you can go to a private room and I can live stream with a letter or whatever. And we can do that and get that out of the way and I can come here and talk to you as much as you want either tonight well, or tomorrow. Well, I'm saying, I mean, what do you mean by live stream? What are you, what are you talking about? What do you mean by live stream? Well, what I mean is when we go into a, uh, I mean me and you. So when we go to a private room on Discord, it'll let you start a, it'll let my phone. You ain't got to do that. I'm not, I'm not yeah, just, I just, just, just say, just have a picture of it and you shoot it over okay. an email. You know what I'm saying? Or okay. 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 Inbox, okay. just give it to Navy, Navy, I'm an inbox message with him. You know what I mean? Just, okay. just give it to him and have him send it over something. You know what I'm saying? Just have a picture of it. It's not that big okay. of a thing. You know what I mean? We ain't got to do live stream all that bullshit. No, no, that's the thing. When I go into Discord and I can just hit a button on my phone and it'll turn my camera on. That's all I'm saying. It just lives in the That's what I meant. You know, I'm not saying that wrong. This is what I have a I know, I know. I don't think like that. That's a big issue. A lot of people are trying to judge, not, you know, based on how they're perceiving this, I think, without necessarily, I guess, thinking about, you know, maybe that's my fault. It probably is. Maybe that's why people are saying, next time, don't, you know, go straight to stream. Then again, though, if that's the case, I have to consider whether I do that for when Betty does it or JLR does it to anyone else. Like, I just don't want to be hypocritical. I want, if something happens to me that I've been reporting this happening to everyone else, my first thought, and it's probably a selfish thought, I want to be fair, even to these people that I, to everybody, you know, like, it's not fair well, yeah, to sure. report boxing to other people that not report boxings when I'm the one being boxed, is how I took it. So, yeah, well, nobody, you redact your, your mom's information and email will, it to us. But yeah, definitely redact the information before you send it to me years older because nobody else needs to know that information. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you here. But then again, I mean, is, I, I'm already giving it to me for legal reasons and such, you know, well, she's going to need it unredacted if she's going to take it to the police as well. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, I would like okay. you can, you yeah. know, I'd like to. I thought the video would be good for you know, more evidence, I guess. Well, you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable with it, you can redact it. I'm comfortable with whatever you want. What you can do is just send the police number, and I can get the number to your report, and I can give it to mine. And okay, yeah. You know, like, yeah, however, I mean, I think, great. And I think Cappy was basically referring to, like, your mom takes a picture, you, you get the copy, you print it out, you redact it, and then you email it to the queen. That's what the Cappy's. Oh, Cappy's, okay, Cappy's, okay, hi, Cappy, I'm sorry. I didn't oh, okay, 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 gotcha, okay. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of done. Boston, what's up, bro? How are you, buddy? I'm seeing you a week or something. Yeah, this is all just a bunch of kind of like I think because we have like a couple things going on in the community, and I just you know whatever you guys need before, reach out. I'm not ignoring anybody. I'm not changing anything. Like like I, however I felt a week a month ago, I still feel this way now. I know there's a lot of things out there going on. I don't know how else to reference them, but you know I'm just doing my same thing I've been doing, and I'm open to criticism, open to hearing your issues, open, open to coming on streams. But you know like I'm, I'm working it. It doesn't happen instantaneously because this is throwing a big wrench into things. You know JLR is uh, stepping up his his shit as much as I was probably wrong in my initial stream, thinking that you know it's more of a I, what I'm trying to say is I think it is more of a threat than what I initially thought, regardless of what he's writing, because that's how it's been explained. I'll talk about that later though. So yeah, okay, I'll get all you in, in, in uh, the email. I'm gonna use the email. He's gonna hold you from now on, so I got it saved here. So. Um, Anyway, thanks guys. If you need me, hit me up. Nick, come in later, man. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be live tonight, but yeah, jump over and talk to us. We'll be over. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say yeah. That, I mean, hit me up whenever you. Are you? You said you're gonna go tonight, then or no? You're. I'm gonna call her after this, and I don't know when. I'm, I don't want to tell you right now, but like, I'll talk to you about all that. You know, in, in email, I'll just shoot you an email and let you know everything's going on after I make a call. All right, cool, cool. That's cool. Yeah, that, that's cool. That's how it works. Yeah. And then, all right. So, and I apologize for the confusion, or if I scared anyone, I was scared myself. I know it's not an excuse. Um, well, no, I just was kind of like I said, I would never really known. Um, uh, had I had you not made that community tab, if you wouldn't have made that community tab, I would never know nothing about it because I didn't get a chance to watch your live. And um, then I, you know, somebody sent me a screenshot of the community tab, uh, and it said that you were live. And I read it. I was like, what does he mean? Talk to him behind the scenes. He's already live about it. What the hell's going on? Yeah, yeah. I want to talk to you about the other details. I wasn't, you know, discussing in that stream, and you know, more things about the issue that we'll probably talk about once the letter becomes public. Because you know, I already promised everybody I'd release it as long as I could. So you know, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to. I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't. So. All right. Okay. Sounds good, guys. Thank you. Thank you for hearing me. Sorry to interrupt your stream. So. It's all good, mate. It's all good. I appreciate you coming
And I, I came in and reported on all these people being doxxed when I didn't have to. I didn't gain things when I did it. Rewind back to the beginning. We weren't getting a bunch of views or anything when I did all that. Like, they have the nerve to accuse me of lying right after they sent my address to well, my family's address to my PayPal. And went, then, then Betty went live and admitted it happened. And yes, that when I talked about the letter, the reason that I played Betty and replayed that was to show that she admitted to looking up that address. Did anybody, did anybody like ask to see who else was doxxed? I, I, you know what? I can't remember who else was doxxed. But they are asking everybody for the things they're asking me, right? They're doubting everyone unless they do what they're asking me. It's not just me, right? Okay, good. I'm glad they're doubting everyone that was. Basically defending Molly, JLR, and Betty. I'm glad that they're doing that. They don't believe that Molly, JLR, and Betty would do this. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Even if they admit to it. Yep. Right. Okay, good. Listen closely. They're Maybe actively talking about JLR. I will jump in the other Discord. I'm not scared. I will passed jump in this Discord. Hey, I just jumped over for two seconds. Hey, uh, you, are you going to jump over in a minute, man? Or are you busy? It's okay if you're busy. I was just asking. No, no, no I'll, be, I'll be over there in a minute. Okay, okay, no problem. Take your time, though. Uni definitely is the guy to bust in on a conversation of his friends that they definitely wouldn't want made public, but would be because of him. <laughs> they admitted that they put addresses in those uh, PayPal. You know, I heard that people were, set, were doubting the PayPal donos that Betty and JLR did. Betty admitted to, to it. Go listen to her. No, don't turn it off when she first says it. Because she first acts like she didn't know at first. But then, then, like a couple minutes in is when she admits she knew the whole time. By the way, the fact that she sent it literally right after him proves that it happened. Are you saying I'm working with Betty? Is that the accusation? They've got to be accusing me of working with Betty? Okay, got it. All right, I'll shut up, guys. I know you guys don't want to hear, hear about this shit. It's all good. I don't even want to talk about it. I literally heard that these other creators that said it. Because when I was on Queen's panel, they were trying to act like nobody called you a liar. And I'm like, Actually, no. When anyone tried asking any questions, you got snide and rude and said you were only there to talk to Queen and cut them off. And Queen B humored you and stayed extremely respectful, despite your bowl. Oh, good. I went out and I know now who called. I know now who did it. I'm not going to see. And everybody says I cause drama and shit. Why? Because I barely fucking respond <laughs> like like on a kick stream with 50 people watching instead of over on youtube milking it for money and views i'm just here playing a video game kind of thinking to myself and that's me causing drama responding lightly barely is causing drama no you doing it is causing the drama. so that was that and you heard his um description and explanation for the stuff he was sent and his response in feelings about how everyone else has responded to what he's claimed so let's hear some factual information which is going to be ekc people suck on Queen Bee's panel, explaining how she obtained the letter and what it actually says, and then we'll take a look at the letter. And here, you'll then see how greatly it differs from how Uni presented it or portrayed it. So to answer everyone's question, um, I just, I, I can't, I can't deal with you interact. I can't deal with the, the stories, the, the circle talk. I, I can't, I can't deal with it. So I just went, I, I went right, right to the source. I went to uh, JLR's YouTube channel and I went to the about section. I was thinking about emailing, but I saw that there was a website. So I pulled up the website and there was a contact uh, contact form or whatever on the website. And I'm thinking that if anyone's contacting him or them or whatever about this this letter, they're probably not doing it through the website. So that's why I went through the website. Yeah, absolutely not. I yeah. would not, you know, and I've always been told don't click on it because you can get your information that way, I guess, or some, something along those lines. So I never have went to his website ever. Okay, um, so yeah, so that's, I, it was an email submission form. So I sent him an, an email and, you know, I tried to sound very professional and everything saying, no, this is true. Did you send his mother or family members, whomever letter? And if so, may I ask why? And, um, and if you did, is, you know, can I learn of the contents of this, this letter? So, and someone got back to me today. Um, it was someone named Magnolia. Um, she's, I'm guessing she, I don't know, but they, they say that they are, um, JLR's channel producer and brand manager or the channel producer and brand manager for JLR investigates. And, um, so they told me that it was a cease and just, it was a retraction demand and notice to cease and desist letter, um, intended solely for the owners, owners and operators of the rock lot channel. Um, only one letter was sent out. However, it, there were copies of this one letter sent out to multiple addresses by a certified mail to ensure it was received, but they were unsure of Unirock's uh, place of residence. So they sent it to a few, or several addresses, I'm guessing. And um, from they, they assumed that they got at least one address right, you know, after hearing and seeing all the shit he was saying yesterday. And um, yeah, so that's it. The, the letter was not sent to his mother, but it was probably sent to his mother's house. And the letter did not reference or refer to anyone else, any other creators. The only time anyone else was mentioned was because they were citing 
um, one of Unirock's uh, title streams or title for the streams. And example they gave for this was Betty and JLR full on D Queen B Molly Go Ban Evady Cringe Theater Live. That's that's how you were mentioned. Oh, okay, that's what I repeated. I said earlier. Yes, the live stream about JLR and Betty Docs. I mean, he used that and made it into content. Yeah. yeah. So that's exactly what I said. Was it yeah. emailed or handwritten? It was emailed. It, yeah, it was. No, 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 it was certified. It was certified mail sent to, to um the addresses, but it was not handwritten. It was not handwritten. Not handwritten. That's why he refused to produce it because he said it was handwritten and he he, oh, he refused. And then he said he tagged me. He didn't tag me couldn't find it. Even Navy couldn't find it. None of us could find it in his tag. Yeah. Your name search. Yep. Yep. They, um, they said that um the, like I said, the mother was not at all mentioned in the letter. It did not even mention his mother. However, it said we included his father in the salutation simply because it's difficult to imagine that Unirock is capable of running a full to full time YouTube channel on his own. And we felt it was logical that his father must provide some level of support. Wow. I, I thought that was funny though.